What's crack a lacking, people? Today we are gonna be making some bear burgers. First thing you need, bear burger. I just got a pound here. I got it processed at my local meat market. Make sure you have some of that cheese, bacon, thick cut. That's how we like it. Some lettuce. And some buns. I got bread. Two ways to go to the store to get some buns and butter. Now it's time to get in the kitchen, start cooking. First thing you need to do, cook the bacon. Um, set it to like six. Then you let these suckers cook. And then I'll show you the next step. Bacon is basically your own preference. Just depends how you like it. If you like it crispy, like me, I like it crispy. Some people like it to where it's barely cooked, like my grandpa. He just, he could nuke his in the microwave and eat it. It's kind of gross, but bacon is your own preference. Cook it how you like it. And next step will be to making the patties. Let's see what we got. Next step here. Got the bacon sizzling in the pan. Next step, you got a quarter. So I'm gonna make four patties out of one pound of hamburger. So that looks like one. Two. Three and four. Those are my four patties. Cut them equally. Now we gotta wait for the bacon to cook. Let that make some McLovin in the pan. We'll mix in the bacon with the burger and start cooking our patties. This is gonna be good, folks. Bacon's cooking, patties already cut up. Um, I shot this bear back maybe two years ago. And I think I got 20 to 30 packages of just bear burger. You can get jerky made out of bear meat. Just about anything you can think of with meat they can do for you. But I got all bear burger. I made, I make everything with this. I make hamburgers, cheeseburgers, bacon cheeseburgers, omelets, tacos, chili, anything you could think of that you put beef in, you can do with bear. Bear is just like beef, just a little bit saltier in my opinion. No wild game flavor whatsoever. If you guys want to go to your local like meat market and pick you up a package, it looks something like this. It says wild game on it. Then they'll have a marker right there. It says bear. They'll mark it. Look at all that wild stuff you can get. Burger or sauce you can get in there. You can get just about anything you can think of. Just as long as you do it. Bear, in my opinion, probably one of my favorite wild game to eat along with venison go pick yourself up a package and try it yourself while i'm waiting for the bacon to cook i'm gonna salt my bear burger i've got lares lares needs to be put on everything you make some cajun classic chef secret garlic pepper these are just um these seasonings are just local seasonings you guys ain't gonna find them anywhere you go but local they're good i'm telling you that so um put on as much salt as you want i like my stuff salty so i'm gonna add it right now bacon just got done after that you want to take your bacon so i got eight pieces here two for each patty and then i took the rest and crumpled it up into um little bite-sized pieces then what you want to do is you want to take it and put it into the bear burger and then after that, you just um, put it in the pan and start cooking it. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, do not be afraid to cook wild game a little bit rare. That's how it tastes good. You do not wanna overcook wild game because it will make it taste like crap. I'm gonna finish putting all the bacon pieces in all these patties and we'll catch you guys back at the stove. All right guys, I just got all my bacon put into all my patties. Got the bacon set outside. Next step, grab yourself some butter salted preferably and put in probably about two tablespoons two 
tablespoons of butter. Don't be afraid to cook it in the same baking pan. It's good for you. Trust me. No, I'm just joking. It ain't good for you, but it does taste good. So let that make some loving with that bacon grease. These burgers are going to be greasy. Let me tell you. Boy, are they going to be good. On this channel, we don't worry about eating healthy. We worry about eating good. All right, people. So this is a good recipe. It ain't a healthy recipe. It's a good recipe. After that's going, throw your patties in. Cook them on, I'm going to say five. So medium. Cook them on medium. You want your burgers to be about medium rare. That's how you make good bear burgers, people. All right, let's throw them in the pan. All right, guys, got the burgers in the pan. Make sure you pay very close attention to them. Flip them when you think they're ready to be flipped. Make sure you only flip them once. After they are good to go, cook through, you think, grab yourself some cheese to throw on top. I'm going to get these out of the packages, and once the burgers are ready, I'll add them, and I'll catch you guys when that is ready. All right, guys, little tip here. Um, main thing what I watch when I'm making burgers is the outside crust right here. When that starts getting brown, you can kind of watch where it goes up in your level and stuff. So, like, you see this burger, how it, oh, just steamed up the camera. See how it's kind of red there? And you see how this one's kind of getting brown up there on the outside there? That means this one is almost ready to be flipped. So, little tip there. You guys don't burn your burgers. All right, guys, just add the cheese. Make sure you add the cheese right when it comes off, or otherwise you could put it on the burger while it's still cooking and put a little, like, little, like, top on it like this. But I don't like my cheese melted in my burger because it makes it super, super messy, so I just like it like that. Let's take it over here. Start plating up my sandwich. I'm going to take two pieces of bacon lay them right on top like that take my lettuce i ain't got nice cut lettuce i just got this chopped stuff so just lay some of that on top like that I take my top piece of bread because i ain't got a bun this looks horrible but i ain't got a bun all right then i take my bottom piece Put on there like that. All right, let's give you guys. Look at that. Wow, that looks so good. Other than the bread, that don't look very good, but the burger itself looks like it's cooked perfect. I'm gonna give you guys the first bite. Wow. That is amazing, people. If you guys got some bear or you want to go bear hunting, go out, you shoot yourself one. Make yourself a nice bear burger. I'm going to tell you right now, you guys are going to love it. Use the same ingredients as I did. Maybe some different salt or whatever, but use the same steps as I did. Use my tips and hopefully you guys like it. I know I sure do, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to share the love, stay happy, people, and we'll see you on the next one. We out. Peace.